Hey everyone, my name is Samuel MKC and today we're going to be doing Minecraft Mate Code. We're going to be making it rain chickens. Okay, we're going to be spawning pandas, we're going to be automating all of this with code. You know, our world, our world, it needs some livening up. We have a few chickens here and there, but you know, let, let, let's add some more. You know, we, we, we need to have some fun here. I'm getting quite lonely, I'm being, you know, it's been self-isolating, so I can't get a pet right now, but let's 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 add some to our, let's add some to minecraft and we'll use minecraft make code to to do all of this so let, let's get right into this um so make sure you join the world make sure you also do have creative on so set your personal game mode to creative so that you can get a feather and a piece of string for later but for now you don't need those items but later on our world is looking quite empty we do have a bit a bit of you know a few chickens roaming around, but I want I want to I want to add some more animals. I want to add some pandas, and I also want to add chickens without having to you know spawn one or two here and there. You can impress your friends with this awesome awesome automated process. So 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 click C C for chicken on your keyboard, and then over here you will have your code builder. Your code builder is your way for you to create cool projects. So if we go ahead and we click new project and give our project a name and type in the name of your project so this will be chicken rain because i want to make it rain chickens so let's go ahead and create this as you can see we have a new code builder window we have an on start and on chat command run block in our code so this is block coding and if it's not on block coding you can switch it to block coding over here with this option if you see the jigsaw puzzle that's what you want you can go ahead and delete this right click and delete and also this you can keep but if you if you delete this by accident you can go ahead and search for player on the left and then click and drag this in here i already have that so i'm going to remove that and not do that step but over here we have an on chat command on chat command whenever we type this text it will basically execute this command so in this case if we type run it would execute whatever comes in here in this case we want to type something that relates to what we want it to do so you know chicken rain chicken rain i'm gonna uh, type chicken rain and that's when i want all the chickens to start raining after that what we next want to do is we want to go ahead and click on the left it says mobs go ahead and click that and then drag in spawn animal chicken egg at relative position zero relative position zero relative position zero and drag that within on chat command so now if you click X on the code editor, or if you hit the escape key on your keyboard, then if you type in the chat, let's go on the ground. If you type in chicken rain, as you can see, we have a chicken which has spawned exactly where we are. That's not, that's not really raining though. We, we want it to rain chickens. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and go back into your code editor, C for code on your keyboard. And instead of, instead of spawning it relative zero 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 to where we are we want to we want it to be you know in the sky we want it to fall and it will rain the chicken and chickens of course they're not they're gonna, they, they have feathers so they will float down nicely so so if you look here we have three options we have an x y and z coordinate the x coordinate and the z coordinate will be on the plane you know but our y coordinate will be the vertical vertical elevation so if we want to make it rain we want it Oh, it's actually started to rain in our game. Let me let me clear that. Uh, <laughs> let's change that to clear. So now we'll get a blue sky again. Okay, so we want it to rain chickens, not actual rain. So we want to increase the elevation. So if we change the Y coordinate, because we have our X, Y, and Z coordinates, and the X and Z coordinates are on the plane, we want the Y coordinate, our elevation, to change. So we're going to change that to 15, so that all our chickens uh, that we choose to spawn whenever we type chicken rain, they will come from above. So if we go ahead, exit out of the code editor, and if we type in chicken rain, as you can see, I spelt it wrong. So if we type chicken rain, I just spelt it wrong, so cut that out. Uh, if you can see, when we type chicken rain, our chicken is now falling from the sky. And that, that that's pretty cool, but uh, I want to spawn more chickens, so I'm just going to spam this. You can hit the up arrow key to spam. And there you go, I have a bunch of chickens, but you know, still, 
I mean, can I, can I do that in an easier way? Well, yes, of course you can. Thank you for asking. This is Minecraft and it's MakeCode. So MakeCode, we can go ahead and use a loop. So if you go on the left, if we click loops, you can go ahead and find repeat four times, do, drag that in. You can then enclose the spawn animal block within your repeat four times do block. And this will basically mean that whenever you type this command, chicken rain, it will spawn, it will repeat the spawn animal command four times. So we don't want four, we, we want way more. That was a rhyme. <laughs> and uh, we're going to change it to 100. We want 100 chickens to rain for us. So that's, that's all said and done. Let's go and uh, type chicken rain. And uh, let's see, oh, okay, there we go. We have uh, 100 chickens and it's proper raining. It's, it's properly raining chickens now. So that's awesome. But what's next, what's next? We wanna, we wanna make this even better. We, we don't wanna just have to type it every single time. We have a feather, it does nothing. Why, why, why not utilize this feather? Okay, we can use that. We can, we can, we can go ahead. Go back into your code editor with the C button on your keyboard and then if you go into player on the left and you search for on item used, click and drag this into your code editor and change the item to be a feather. There you go. Now what we can do is we can take this green loop object block and then right click and duplicate that. And then you can drag that within your on item feather used block. Now, whenever you use a feather, it will execute this. So now you can exit out of your code editor, press the escape button or press X on your keyboard, and then right click and guess what? There's your chickens. <laughs> We've just right clicked with our mouse and uh, there you go. It's, it's pretty amazing that, you know, we can either type it in the chat or we can just press our right mouse button and I'm gonna spawn loads of chickens. And before I lag, uh, I'm uh, just gonna, gonna leave it. I've, I've probably done this like five times now. So, you know, we have so many chickens now. Our, our world is so lively. Um, I couldn't ask for anything more, you know? Yes, I can, okay, I can. I, 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 I want to have pandas. I want pandas, I want pandas in this world. So let's go ahead. Instead of having to do all of that again, it's simple, just duplicate the block, Control C, Control V, or just duplicate by right clicking and click duplicate. And I'm gonna change this to be panda. There's one thing I do want to do. Instead, instead of using chat commands, I think I won't use this. I'm going to go ahead and use another item. So I'm going to duplicate the on item used. I'm going to move this, and I'm going to change the item to be a piece of string. So let's go ahead and get a piece of string. And the animal type I want to use is a panda. There is a slight modification as well that I want to make because pandas, they take four damage and we don't want to hurt these poor pandas. We want to, we want to let them be graceful and, uh, you know, have, have, you know, be, be. We, we, we want these pandas to spawn on the ground. So to do this, we can change this Y coordinate to be zero. So now it's on the same plane relative to us in the Y coordinate, and we can change the X coordinate or Z coordinate to be some, some other distance. So I'm going to change the X coordinate to be five. So now it will be on the same plane, five, five blocks away from us in the X direction. So let's go ahead and exit out. Let's, let's clear the weather. And now let's find a piece of string. So, you, so this is done within creative mode so I can search. So if you don't have the search option when you go into your inventory with E on your keyboard, you can go ahead and click settings and change your personal game mode to creative. And if you are a teacher, go ahead and change the default game mode to creative and all your students can do that too. So now I have a piece of string and I just got a free egg from a chicken. Let's see if I can uh, get a chicken. Yeah, oh, whoops. <laughs> Uh, so now when we go ahead and we use our string, it will spawn our pandas. Now the x direction I believe is this way, so I'm going to move over here and I also want to make sure, one thing within our code, we want to make sure that we're, we're not spawning too many pandas because, you know, we should change this to about 5. So let, let's go ahead, reduce this to 5 
and now our, our string code is ready. So let's go ahead and uh, right click this, and there you go, we have five pandas. Oh, we have a brown one as well. I've never seen the brown pandas before. I've only seen these, the, the black and white pandas. Whoa, oh, look at this. I'm gonna give them some Bambi. Uh, let's get some more brown pandas, can we? Yeah. We're gonna have a baby one. Let's see. Where's where, where's the little panda? Ah, oh. so can we have a little brown panda? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, wow. Oh, wait a That's so cool. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed this. We just we just spawned a bunch of chickens and a bunch of pandas using objects in the game, and we also just got. Uh, some a baby a baby brown panda oh, okay this is amazing so i hope you all enjoyed do do check out microsoft build it's happening next week so there's going to be more minecraft and more make code tutorials out there there's just going to be stuff in the hololens this is open to everyone so a lot of this content will be available for you to watch so do check out the student zone if you are interested in more minecraft and make code and just sign up this this is a free event it's something you should definitely check out because you know it normally costs a lot, over 2,000 every single year. So make the most of this. Link is in the description. You can go to aka.ms slash build and you can go and register from there. Hope you all enjoyed. This has been Sam MKC and, you know, hope you all enjoyed. Also, there is a step-by-step -step tutorial that will be put in the description as well as my website if you want to check that out and follow for more. Subscribe, like, comment, let me know. Keep up to date with all of this, which is going on. I will be posting about build a lot, so I hope you really enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it, so see you all in the next one. Bye!